Hello, today I would like to show you how to flash the nearest release of the International Karate Ultimate Competi Competition Edition to uh, the Easy Flash. And um, as you can see, I have already flashed this to my cartridge because I want to explain something later which I had to try up front. But uh, it is quite simple, so by pressing the button key or the key P, <laughs> which is probably the better description, we come to this um, easy proc menu and uh, here we can select with M uh, that we want to write a CRT to flash. So this is going to be um, the first option. And now we have to use a or select a slot. Let's go for slot 5. Doesn't matter at all. Just have to consider whether you want to override an already existing slot or you want to use a new one and uh, as you can see that's the biggest file on my SD to IEC device and um, well let's start it and uh, there's the last warning saying well we're going to erase all the current flash content and we are pretty sure that we want to do this and then the flashing starts and uh, this actually quite boring exercise so uh, for the final video I will just forward the section and um, then we will will be back with the new release of the International Karate Ultimate Competition Edition So the flashing is done, so let's just say enter and then uh, congratulations, writing to flash completed. And now we can hit the menu to jump back to our easy flash menu. And here we see now two slots with IK ultimate competition. And I'm just going to use the first one I have created because I have already prepared a couple of settings which I'm going to explain and uh, it's a little bit easier not to start from scratch here. So let's hit enter and then now we have some intro sound and um, this is actually in mono but uh, quite soon we're going to see that um, international current is supporting stereo as well. So now we have a short introduction where we can uh, read through a couple of um, um, infos about the game and uh, with space and with the Komodo key we can uh, go for forward and backward. And uh, we have a couple of um, infos about different uh, pictures and uh, here we come to the introduction itself. So it's um, what it is. It's a game about international karate and uh, it's a simulation game. Well, that's uh, probably a little bit broad, but uh, well, it is something like this. And. Uh, here we have the descriptions of the, or let's, let's say a list of locations. And here we have uh, the scoring. And uh, we have the different belt colors. And the in-game keys. So uh, this is something we may just keep in mind. That we have uh, one player or two player. We can uh, toggle the digitized sounds on and off. And we can toggle the music on and off. Function keys. This is just a general movement. And uh, these are the different attacks. 
and then a short description about the mini game. There are two actually. And here we have some info about some Easter eggs. And uh, this is maybe something we can try as well. And um, how we can change locations. So and then we are at the beginning. And uh, now let's just jump to the game. So here we have a question if we want to restore saved preferences. And that's the reason why I have already one instance on my Easy Flash. Uh, because I'm just hitting yes. And it is already kind of uh, predefined to my own preferences. But uh, let's go through this. So uh, as mentioned, restore saved, uh, saved preferences. Here you are able to uh, uh, load your already set preferences so you don't have to go through this list uh, every single time you start a game and here we can say a suppressed intro and suppressed instructions so we would skip the first two things we have seen after starting this and suppress this menu will hide this menu at all and um, we have to keep in mind that uh, if you say yes to this option I haven't found an option to bring it back so I did this <laughs> at the very first attempt. I set all my settings and uh, said yes, suppress this menu. And I never was able to get it back. So uh, this has to be handled with um, some caution. And then we have to select whether we're going to have the classic mode, the ultimate mode or the competition mode. And I just set it to competition because uh, that's the new version and I was uh, interested to try this. And then we have um, the choice of what kind of in-game mu music we want to listen to. So that's uh, the original Rob Hubbard tune, or that's um, either the one of the two new tunes. And I just set it to two, just uh, because I like it. I don't. And uh, here we come to the next option, use second sit. And that's quite interesting. Uh, and just to test this, I uh, set up my, my test board. Um, to handle the mix sit with two 6581 sits and um, we need additional address lines these are those uh, yellow and the green um, clamps I have attached to the CPU to the address line A5 and A8 and uh, this provides the possibility to use the second sit at certain addresses and as you can see and you enter, uh, answer the question with yes, then you get a sit location in, uh, in hex code and uh, you see this, the range, it's 4 to 7 and uh, at the very first attempt I was thinking that I have to enter the x position of the address but it's actually the question mark and uh, after knowing this it's quite obvious but anyway and I set it to um, D420 which is quite a common address and uh, I configured the mix it as well run it uh, the second sit at 420 and um, the next thing is the player color so it's white or red or whatever so I set it I just set it to the default and then we can uh, say choose locations I set it to no because I just want to progress through it several locations and then you can choose whether to have the trainer or high score game and I set it to high score and then the last question is uh, reset high scores and I said no because I want to keep this and uh, the very last uh, option in this menu is keep safe preferences and if you answer with yes then you just progress to the game and if you answer this with no then you have the chance to go through all the settings again and um, change it to your own preferences so actually we want to keep this so we say yes and then uh, the game should start and here we are so as you can hear it is uh, actually a mono just make it a little bit louder and uh, then we change the stereo mode and we can hear that the music is running on one channel 
and the digitized um, effects on the other channel. So uh, it is actually up to you if you want to listen it in this way. And uh, I would prefer the mono mode, where both signals are mixed into one uh, mono signal. And um, I'm doing this while I'm recording the video, so there is no option in the game and no. Op and um, while there is an option on the mix it, you can uh, use the jumper and say let's say a, a mono mix, but it's uh, actually not very recommendable. Because um, this will have some effects on, on both channels. So. So then, let's have a sneak preview into the game. I mean, actually, it's not very complicated. It's well, international karate. I just have to. Oops. So actually it plays like the original game, so nothing has changed in, in a way that is uh, quite unexpected or so. And uh, now let's try whether we can change the location. I just remember the keys. I think. ASDF? Probably not. So I may have uh, checked the description a little bit more carefully. That probably plays not that good with it. Gamepad. So that's uh, more accidentally what I'm doing right now. But at the very first level, it's quite easy to win. So. So what's new in this game is as well the animation of the judge in the background. So he's making some signs which wasn't uh, available in the first original International Karate. And um, there are some additional features in the game. So if you start the game and press after the intro, the key Commodore, then you will jump to a special mode, and uh, this is the same if you press the key one stop while starting the game. And uh, one is leading to a International Karate Plus version, so you have the same background of the International Karate Plus, but it's not animated. And the second option is leading to uh, the way of the exploding fist. So you uh, get more new backgrounds and um, therefore there are plenty of locations to play the game in. And I think this is a very nice addition to this classic game. And uh, Well, it is um, released for the, the Easy Flash as well as the disc version. So you can uh, play this on uh, the Easy Flash 3, or you can uh, use the um, cartridge image for the um, Ultimate 2 and Ultimate 2 Plus as well, or you simply play the disc version.
And that's basically all I want to show you today. I hope you had some, some fun and it was uh, interesting to you. And if you have any questions uh, how to get this on the easy flash or where to find the game or whatever, please feel free to use the comment section. I will add the link uh, to the CSDB release as well in the comment section or in the description. And then uh, you can have a look at this uh, very nice reincarnation of international karate. So anyway, thanks for watching and um, if you want to stay informed about new releases and other stuff, feel free to subscribe and then happy playing and bye bye.